That was a private service, even though it used the public telephone system. British Telecom runs an information service on large central computers that can be used by anyone with the right kind of hardware and software. And that includes our micro and the equipment John and I were using earlier. Richard Hooper runs this service. Richard, Prestel's been around for three years or so. How has its usage developed? Well, I think we've concentrated on what we call rifle shot target marketing. Here, for example, on this screen, you see the index for travel agents. There are about 4,600 travel agents. And on how this. are they using it? Well, holiday availability uh, and, for example, booking. They can book airline seats. So they can book them direct with the airline's computers Absolutely. and tour through, agents? Through Prestel, through a gateway into airline reservations computers. But how can a home user use it? Well, st still staying on the subject of travel, which is very popular at home, you've got a service um, like uh, a Skyguide, which um, tells you the departure and arrival information at Heathrow Airport. So if you're going out to meet Granny. Well, let's have a look. She's arriving from the States. Let's look at... Well, Terminal uh, 3, terminal so that's 1-7. That actually gives you the status of flights uh, updated a few minutes ago. It actually is. Two minutes old, is that? How's that done? Well, the, um, the computers that actually drive the arrival and departure boards in the lounges are also driving an American Express computer in Brighton, which is driving the Prestel computers back in London, and there you are. So you're absolutely certain what you're seeing on your screen is what people are actually seeing absolutely. in the airport. Absolutely, just taken off the gate numbers, that's all. But that's just information. What else can we do? Well, we use the telephone, so therefore we can send messages back to the computer uh, in a message mode. Uh, for example, let me book you um, some seats at the Barbican Theatre, the Royal Shakespeare Company. That's extremely kind of you. Uh, 220... Oh, I made an error. Right, if you look down line 24, 220 press hash, and this gives you seat availability. What are you interested well, Henry in? Henry IV, parts 1 and 2, and Poppy. Well, let's try Henry IV, part 2. All 15th right. of March, what about Well, that? 16th of March is not available. Uh, oh, it's 4 15th, 2 you want. Yes. Uh, 15th of March, £8.50. OK, let's book it for you. This is uh, an electronic booking form, an order form, if you like, which we've called up from the machine. And you'll see that the name of BBC Television Centre, which owns the, uh, this particular set, uh, coming up, and they're going to actually pay for it. And the cursor um, moves along to just where you The cursor time. now says we want... We said what we said, March 15th. March 15th. Uh, 1.5, press return. We obviously want two, two at 8.50. Uh, none at 7, certainly none at 6. We don't want a matinee. Uh, then it says uh, name. Well, let's, let's put in your name, Mac. Press return. Credit card. Well, the BBC's credit card number is 1234. I'm reliably informed. And then you'll see on line 24, key 1 to send, key 2 to cancel. Since this is the last programme they can afford it, I'll send it. Uh, message sent. That's marvellous. But you wouldn't need a microcomputer to do that. You could do it on a fairly ordinary little dumb terminal like that. Yes, what I mean, you... everything we've seen so far, as you say, could be done with that and a colour television set or a black and white set. What special service have you got to offer for a microcomputer user? OK, well, here we have the BBC Micro with an acoustic modem, telephone network. It can do everything that we've done already on Prestel. And in addition, uh, there is a service aimed specifically at uh, owners of uh, home computers, small computers in business and schools, and this is called Micronet 800. And what this does... Uh, I mean, it, its main feature is that Prestel stores on the computers computer programs which we download called Telesoftware. So it's not just for the BBC Micro, it's for the, the Apple for BBC the Commodore Pet. Is. And we just store the machines and we can download them to your machine at home or in the office. And can we do that? OK, well, let's... Uh, I've got a surprise program for you. Um, this is a bit of electronic soft documentation. And if you want to download the program, spe special function key F5, and we are now actually downloading it and this is a basic program stored on the Prestel computer. And how fast is it coming through? It's coming through at about uh, 1,200 bits per second. And is it error corrected? How do we know we got what's there is actually there the program? There is a checksum at the bottom, and it just checks the number of, uh, of characters. And if it's OK, it, uh, it passes the page. If it's not OK, it'll reload it. And how many programs have you got altogether available to a user? Well, there are something like 1,000 programs for different range of machines. That's amazing. And some of those you have to pay for, of course. Some of those are free and some of those you have to pay for. This one is free. I'm now uh, downloaded, three and a half frames. I can leave Prestel, uh, pressing F4. And now so comes I'm... the real test. OK, now the real <laughs> Does test. Does it work? Uh, I'm now going to go in back into basic and now run the program file, press F6, hold your fingers. <laughs> I've just been downloaded for a download from Prestel. Is that all it does? <laughs> well, thank you very much, Richard.